Good morning, my Virgos. Happy Thursday, all happy Thursday. We are almost at the weekend. So close, you can almost feel it, right, Virgo? All right, yes, I am doing uh, bonus reads this weekend, top three viewed highest signs on Sunday. And if you haven't yet, and you're feeling my vibe, please feel free to like and subscribe. I'm kind of liking that jingle of mine. But yeah, no, nothing mandatory around this joint. We are, we are pretty free cats around here. So just, if you're feeling it, I do appreciate it, is all I'm trying to say. All right, my Virgos. Let's see, we have Hermit Reverse. This is Tarot of the Mystical Moment uh, deck. And we have the Five of Cups, which is on the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. This is the Clarifying Table, table Tarot card card table card card table one of them you pick and choose you're my first reading of the day what do you expect from me okay <laughs> all right virgos uh virgos just like she is not a very good virgo let me tell you okay we have what's underneath that hermit reverse two, ooh, two of cups reverse and a seven of swords reverse that feels old but a queen of wands maybe you're ready to put yourself out there with the hermit reverse five of cups chariot reverse and the moon reverse. That may not be you. All right, Virgos, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's up. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you are a Virgo, know a Virgo. Feel like being a Virgo. Well, Virgos, I am always glad you're here. I am. But this looks like maybe you had to leave somebody. Somebody had to leave you. You healed. You're ready to maybe put yourself out there. Maybe you're even talking to someone new. It's starting to, it's in the air. It's just in the air this week. But this doesn't feel like you. Somebody's in a chariot reverse, five of cups kind of state. Maybe because they do see you out there and looking good, Virgo. You know you look good. Okay. General energy for my Virgos. General energy. Sorry. General energy for my Virgos. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Virgo. There it is. And two of wands reverse wanted to come out too. Yeah, eight of swords, two of wands reverse. You released yourself from a previous situation that you may have felt trapped to, but you really weren't trapped to because you could have left at any time, but they kept you in your head. And you know, Virgo, you're all loyal and shit. And Virgos just don't tend to leave. Uh, it, where it takes a lot for a Virgo to finally make that decision to release yourself. Okay, what is influencing the eight of swords and the two of wands reverse? That's Gemini and Aries. What's influencing the Eight of Swords and the Two of Wands reverse? What's influencing the Eight of Swords and the Two of Wands reverse? Eight of Swords, there it is. Nine of Swords. It kept flipping and flipping and then it fell out of my lap upright. So I, that's the way it is. Um, I, gosh, why do I feel like you're this? Nine of Cups. Whatever this person did was, they did it for the last time. Yeah, ten of swords and a nine of cups. That's where you are. But why do we have here? That maybe that's not you. And she's wearing a wedding ring. Maybe you left a long-term marriage. Um, some of you, I feel like you're in the process of divorce. But with this nine of swords influencing, it's just a lot of being trapped because somebody made the decision to free themselves. Okay, what is the reason for the reading? For my Virgos, what's the reason for the reading? Now, this could be you, Virgo, or this could be you could have left, got left behind. That's how energy is. And the temperance reason for the reading is somebody found their balance, Sagittarian energy. And you earned this, you did this. And I even think in this situation, you brought balance to them too. But they just, I don't think they could appreciate it until they didn't have you anymore. What's in the past? What's in the past, my Virgos? What's in the past? What's in the past? The ki Ooh, King of Pentacles. Virgo, this is interesting. Who did I, I did a read. Was it Gemini yesterday? Um, which is funny because this is a lot of Gemini. I feel like this is old. I think this might be kind of old. And when I say old, it's I just last year, the year before, the year before that. Um, I don't think this happened just last week because in the past here you are, you are, I am really speaking for a Virgo who's in a good place, temperance and a king of pentacles. I, you're just in a good place. This is where your focus is, is your stability, your growth, taking care of those you love, especially if you're a single parent. Some of you, I'm telling you, some of you are already dating or talking to somebody new. Five of pentacles reversed and eight of pentacles. Working on yourself, it became this transformational event. Whatever happened here that caused you to free yourself from this cage, 
and made you say, I am never going to be in a cage again. It's a different cage over here. It's somebody put you out there. Somebody made you feel not loved or wanted or cared for or heard. I want to say heard like they they just didn't even hear you or notice you and you're never going to feel like that again virgo and it caused you to work on yourself over here and you had to leave a situation behind because you were stuck in it for a long time and what you were stuck in see this tiny little world over here you chose as disappointing as it is because of course we don't get into relationships to say hey i can't wait for this to fall apart but you had hope at one point right but you had to move on. Six of Swords. You rode that disappointment rain cloud to other lands. And she's following her wish fulfillment. And she's, see, she's dropping an anchor there. And I do, and there you are. Speaking of lands, look at that. Some of you literally moved. You rode it, Six of Swords, and dropped an anchor. Living by water over here. Um, or you're just really balanced in your emotions. And water is emotions in tarot. Ten of Wands, Ten of Wands reverse. Ten of Pentacles reverse. King of Wands reverse. You're just not going back to that. Long story short, you're not going back to that. But here's the world reverse. Well, it's world upright. I just put it there. But it was a world reverse. And I feel this person has now the cage that they put you in. Now they're in that own cage of their own making. And I, what triggered this is the question. Because this, this, this doesn't feel like last week. I don't even, I, you could have thought this person even moved on. I just think you're in a really good place. What is on Virgo's mind? Emperor. Nobody's telling Virgo what to do these days. Emperor. In control of your life. In control of your happiness. In control of your destiny. This is a Virgo who's so focused on having a Ten of Pentacles their own. They try to do it with someone else and couldn't make someone else help you out. And I don't think you're ever going to rely on someone like that again for your own personal happiness. You're, you're making yourself happy. Because, you know, people can and will disappoint. I mean, it's, it's actually selfish of us to, to put it on somebody else to make us happy. It really is. Because they need to make themselves happy. And they're going to work times too. But I feel like whoever you were previously with, they were just all about themselves while they were taken from you and then you couldn't give to yourself which you are now what's the near future for my virgos what's the near future for my virgos what is the near future for my virgos what is the near future the four of cups and look at that chariot reverse and the ace of wands Somebody has big dreams. The other person's stuck in the past. Five of Swords and the Sun. It's such opposite energies. Five of Swords and the Sun. I feel like there's a Virgo in the Sun or about to be in the Sun and somebody's over here planning on how to get back in. They're over here. When is Virgo coming back? But Virgo's looking up towards the future. Virgo's clear these days on what they want. Seven of Cups reverse. And again, you don't really care what people think. You're just doing you. Huh. Let's see what's going on. This is Cancerian energy, this four cups, but it's starting to feel like a cross watcher read, Virgo. This four cups feels like this. All right, my Virgos, all righty. Eight of swords, two of wands reverse, and a nine of swords. Eight of swords. Eight of swords and a two of wands reverse influenced by the nine of swords. Okay, the Eight of Swords and the Two of Wands reverse, influenced by the Nine of Swords for my Virgos. What is that? What is that? And the Five of Swords. I think this is them trying to get you back. That's two Five of Swords now. Two Five of Swords. Where was the other one? Right here. And you see this? This was you in that previous situation. See this guy? Yeah, there's not much left of him. And she's even got something is a piece of him in her hand and if you would say hey did you just tear a piece of me out she's like i don't know what you're talking about evidence is in your hand lady evidence is in your hand yeah it's like you same thing five of swords over here because this actually feels a bit desperate the nine of swords and an eight of swords and a five of swords feels like desperation because two of wands reverses you making a decision that you have not reversed yet 
and they're over here in a four cup state. I don't think this is you. I really don't think this is you. I think the only thing here is you is this king of pentacles and the temperance. And why are we having this reading? You may ask, because maybe your life is just going fine. A lot of times we don't have readings when lives are like perfect. We have readings for people who really, it's like a warning of a change about to happen or somebody about to come in. Um, or, you know, like something's ready to influence your happiness. I think you're in a good place. I think whoever this is, is not. And you being an emperor, I think you're just very choosy in who you have in your company. King of Pentacles, you're focused on your growth, on your, your spiritual growth, on your, your financial growth, on your personal growth. And you are in a really good place, even if this is just on your own, you know, temperance. But here, near future four cups i think whoever this is that you left behind doesn't want to be alone anymore i think they've been waiting for a long time i don't even think they thought that you were going to be gone this long and you still haven't come back they're still like when is virgo coming back with that three of wands virgo is are the birds virgo's virgo is flying around free these days yeah i think you this person's over here still waiting for you to come back and um, I actually think you're this energy. I think it's a very attractive, charismatic energy, this King of Wands. I think that's how this person sees you. And I think they're afraid other people are seeing you like this too, which is why we're having this reading, which is why it feels a bit desperate. Because Ace of Cups reverse, Hermit reverse. You're not there. You're not filling their cup. You're not even waiting. It's just like you're gone. But that's... Even at the bottom of the, this deck before we began, I felt like with Hermit Reverse, you, you put yourself back out there. And this person realizes they lost you for good. And Eight of Wands below that. Okay, what is this? Two of Wands Reverse, Eight of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. Two of Wands Reverse, and the Eight of Swords influenced by the Nine of Swords. Oh, I already clarified it with the Five of Swords, but if I'm doing this, I let's get another card there. I, it's funny, I was looking right beyond this person's lies. <laughs> looking at your decision. I want to know what you made a decision. Okay, let's do that. What is that two of wands reversed? What's the two of wands reversed here? And strength. You are not reversing this decision. That's what I was focused on. The five of swords is the nine of swords and eight of swords. That's them. This is them going to try to come back in. You turned your back on this person. See? You turned your back. They're trying to figure out how to get you back. But you are not reversing this decision. Two of Wands reverse and a strength. And that's Leo. And that's Aquarius. And this is Cancer. And that is Aries. And this is Sagittarius. And this is Taurus. Gemini and Gemini are at the bottom. Okay, what is the temperance reason for the reading? Why is the temperance here? Two cards. The moon and the chariot. You know, maybe that's, it's exciting, actually. This is two major arcana, Cancer and Pisces, both water signs, both intuitive, both powerful. Pisces is the oldest sign. You're, I feel like you are probably a very old soul, Virgo. You might even have Pisces or Cancer or water in your chart. But anyway, where was I going with this? The black and white sphinxes represent mystery. They represent the unknown. And it's also... It's, it's just a mystery. And the chariot, the chariot is unknown too. You may not even have, you may not even have like, you don't even know how you're going to get this, but you're just moving forward to get this. Like you're just put your head down, you're working, you're out with friends, your energy is high, you're focused on yourself. That's what this is about. The moon is actually a mystery or something to be revealed and with this chariot and some of you what this actually feels like is a new relationship sorry i realized this whole time it's been cut off oh my gosh okay so with this temperance in the chariot and the moon some of you are just in something that feels really good but there's no like attachment to the end you're you're like with the emperor, you're good with your life as it is. And now you might be connecting or talking to somebody new and it just feels really, really good. And you're like, I don't know what's going to happen with this, with the moon card and the chariot, but today it feels damn good, especially since where you came from with this. King of wands, really good. Somebody's giving you their ace of wands these days. This is, this is definitely new love. 
But then you have this, Three of Swords Reverse and a Four of Pentacles. Somebody's not wanting you to completely forget about them. Don't you forget about me. Yes. Okay, what is the Emperor on your mind? That sounds like Georgia on my mind. The Emperor on my mind. All right. Get it together, Stacy. Come back to us. All right, what is the Emperor on Virgo's mind? Aries energy. What is the Emperor on Aries? What is this? And the Eight of Wands reverse. This now feels like the second energy as well. Emperor is you in control of your life, but it's them trying to, it's, it's just, I just feel like this person's gonna come back strong, but they're weak. They're worried, they're stressed. And they might be, see an emperor, if you dealt with this person, especially if you were married to this person or try to get this person, I think they might have a really good job. I think they might think that they're smarter than everybody else. They might even have a bit of an ego there with an emperor, but they also won't budge. They're not, you, you could have tried to grow with this person and they just wouldn't budge. Maybe they were connected to someone else, but why would they even be on your radar? I don't know. That makes it kind of, you know, a little bit of an emperor reverse going on there. But yeah, I just feel like they, they just thought that you would never stop giving to them and you did. And that energy that you stopped giving to them has become stronger to the point where you're building a wall between you and them. Because some of you really, it took a long time to heal from this energy, a really long time. This is somebody who really didn't give you much, but expected a lot. And you got strong from it. You didn't just get strong. You became someone else. You became such a good version. You know what's amazing, Virgo? You became such a good version of yourself that this person, when they try to get you, it's you're out of their league. Okay. Let's just say this person had a really good job and you were, it, it could have been, it could have been like your boss or something. I'll just say this. And they kind of flirted, they did this, but then they just wouldn't give much more than that. And you you really could have had your heart broken, but it caused you to say, you know what? I'm going to really make you regret that decision one day. That's so Virgo. I'm gonna make you regret it. I'm not gonna cause problems in your life. I'm just one day, I don't care if it takes seven and a half years, you're gonna look at me and say, I knew, I knew that person. I really knew that person and I should have paid attention. That's what this is about. That's why it's in the past because this was way in the past and you are starting to climb. Well, maybe are, are we at seven and a half years yet? No, but maybe we're at three years. Maybe we're at four years. Maybe this person is starting to pay attention to you now. Starting to pay attention. Trying to say, see if I can wind Bir Virgo back in. Virgo is not this person. Maybe you were this person when you met them. Look at these two energies. Of course, this would be attractive if you were that four of cups. So why would it not? This person looks like it could completely revitalize your life and change it. And they may have even insinuated that. And then they didn't do anything with it, which is another thing you had to heal from. But you did it, Virgo. That's your story. You did it. What is this four of cups in the near future? What is this four of cups in the near future for my Virgos? What is this four of cups? Yeah, page of cups reverse because you're not giving them anything. And I honestly think they see that you're getting attention. And you don't, at least from their perspective, with this strength and two of wands reverse, and you are nowhere around, they can't, it's just like whatever, maybe they're throwing signals up and they're doing things, but from their perspective, it's just not working. It's eight of wands reverse. It's like you have a force field of protection around you. Okay, what is this four of cups and the page of cups reverse in the near future for my Virgos? Four of cups and the page of cups reverse, which is, you know what, that four plus two is six, but it's reverse. This is a, this is a soulmate that lost, it's, you know what, it is a soulmate. I'm sure it is a soulmate because it, if, it, if this is your story, another six if this is your story it caused you to go from this into this that's a soulmate but a lot of times we go from this into this from a lot of pain it's not because they held our hand and say ah yay virgo go no it's usually because they did something and that caused you to go so deep within you you had to change you had to change because this person was just progressing and you're falling back and that feeling is not a good feeling 
So you had to put yourself on your own track. You then learned maybe if this is about whatever this is for you, if this was going back to school, if this was about losing weight, if this was about um, working for the first time, whatever this is, you were so determined and you still are determined to get there. Not that because you, you want this person back, but because this person is never going to put you into a five of pentacles reverse state again, or for five of pentacles restate. And I can't even speak five of pentacles. So anyway, going back to this. So we have a four and a two and you add or a four. Yeah. If you add it, well, no, it's a five of cups and that's where we started. Why did I think that was a two of cups? Soulmate. Cause I can't add anyway, but six of swords is you moved on from this. You rode that rain cloud of disappointment elsewhere. Hierophant, whatever you're doing, it's mastery level. And you know what? You're giving them a master class and don't look down on people because you might have more money or you might be older, you might be wiser. It doesn't, actually none of that may even be true because one day the tables can turn and you might need something from this person and you're gonna be on your knees. So really be careful who you look down on because that person who you look down on, you're gonna look up to in the future, nine of wands. And that, because I feel like whatever they did for you, Virgo, it caused you to not stop. Remember, I kept getting King of Wands and I feel like you're a King of Wands here. You're still that Knight of Wands within. I think even when you hit this King of Pentacles state, this will always go. You're always going to pursue. This is a Virgo who might have like 10, 10 careers in one. Wheel of Fortune and Nine of Swords. You moved on from the pain. And because you moved on so thoroughly and so well, that's where they are. Because maybe their career is going to take a dive while your career goes up. Or their relationship is going to fall apart while yours, I, I do feel like you, you guys are in a good place. And three of ones reverse is you're never gonna be put on hold or wait on someone again. I think you're just turning your back on anyone who doesn't put you first and who can't give you what you need when you need it. Does that sound selfish? Maybe. But when you're ready, when you allow someone to be in your energy, you expect them to, to be up to your standards. You don't want to wait three years for them to get a ladder to, to climb up to your standards. And damn it, you're never going to have anyone make you feel like this again, like you're not good enough for them. So yeah, that's what I have for you, Virgos. This, is, this, was, this was a deep reading. I didn't for a second, this was like... This was a, a little confusing, but it all came together there. It came together because, yeah, it is a past energy, but it's only because you're doing so well. It's kind of like we had the backstory was you and their pain is taking center stage because I don't feel like you're at that level where you want to be, but you're getting there. So don't stop. All right, my Virgos, that is what I have for you. I hope you guys have a fantastic, sorry, I just pulled the cord. Have a fantastic rest of your week. I may or may not see you this weekend, but if not, you'll see me next week. Take care.